Good morning. This lesson is for third grade for October 11th. So thanks for watching if you missed our live Zoom. I'm glad you're able to um, be part of this lesson. All right. I want you to look in your kit and find your post-it notes. And on one post-it note, I would like you to write um, words or draw a picture about a good time. So what is a good time, a good time that you had? So if you need to pause the video to do this, you can. So a good time. Good time. All right, so you have that drawn. So now, on another post-it note, I want you to record a tough time. What is a tough time? Okay, so if you are not done, you could pause the video to um, do accomplish this. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to take your picture out of your kit that is your sunny, sunshiny picture that looks very happy, right? And I want you um, to stick your happy thought on the sunshiny picture. And then I want you to take your difficult time, tough time, and put it on our stormy picture. All right. So, and now we could share those. Um, so since since we're just doing this as a video, I'll have to share with you, okay? All right, so, I don't know if you can see that. All right, so that's what I put on there. So that's me, and that's when I had my kids. Those were happy times, so there's Emma, and there's Robbie. So that was a super happy time. All right, now my tough time, tough time, is, and that's backwards, <laughs> was when my husband, and I don't think I can make it, I don't know if I can make it right now the other way, when my husband was diagnosed with cancer and has been fighting cancer, so that has been a tough time. So our good times and our bad times stick with us, right? That's why I had you stick that on those papers. They stick with us. Um, Sometimes we feel relaxed and happy, right? We can be all relaxed and happy. But sometimes we feel afraid, worried, maybe even sad. And we may feel both at the same time, like happy and sad. Life is filled with good and bad times. So we are looking at um, the Lord is our shepherd, what we talked about last week, but we're looking at it again in a different way. So in Psalm 23, a shepherd named David, he wrote about good and bad times. David compares God to a shepherd and God's people to sheep. So we're going to read that again. So if you should all have your new Spark Bibles, they were dropped off on your front porch. So um, you can open those up and find Psalm 23. Now, is it in the Old Testament or the New Testament? Hmm? Trying to find my Bible. It is in the Old Testament. And I forgot to grab one for myself. So I have the big 
Bible. So if you want to turn to page 596, and we can read that together, you can follow along. So you're looking for Psalm 23 on page. Did everybody get it? All right. So I will read it to you. You can follow along. So we're going to read about sunny and stormy days. And as we listen, you can point to the picture that matches what is in the psalm. And if you want, you can add a makes me feel spark sticker that's in the back of your Bible to this passage. All right, so let's start. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures he leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. So how is God like a shepherd? Right, he cares, he helps, he leads us, and God sticks with us, right, through the good times and the bad times. Sorry, Butterscotch wants to come and say hello. <laughs> All right, now we're going to get into a cooking activity. Or kind of like a cooking. So the first step in our cooking workshop is to go wash our hands. So why don't you pause the video and go wash your hands right now. Welcome back. All right, so first, all right, in our box, we have a pretzel, a bag of pretzel sticks. So here's a stick. Let this pretzel stick remind us of a shepherd's staff, the walking stick that shepherds use to take care of sheep, okay? So we'll just set, I'm just gonna set that aside yet. I'll tell you what you have to do. Okay, so I want you to take your big bowl that was in your kit, okay? And I want you to take your pretzels, the baggie of pretzels, and dump them into the large bowl. So the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And this is another way of saying, God takes care of me and gives me all I need. So get your pretzels in there. All right, next. Here is a piece of checkerboard kind of cereal. This cereal reminds us of a little pillow. So why don't you add now to your bowl your baggie of Chex Mix, or Chex cereal. And as you do this, I'm gonna say he, he makes me lie down in green pastures. Now, is a little piece of the oat cereal. When we are drowning in our bad days, God throws a life preserver to us. God the shepherd stills the stormy waters of our life and restores our troubled souls. 
Doesn't that look like a life preserver? So why don't you grab your baggie of this cereal, the Cheerios, and add them to the bowl as I say, he leads me beside still waters, he restores my soul. Okay, this might be kind of hard to see. I'm going to try to do it. I'm going to take some crispy cereal, and you guys just wait, and make and kind of shape it into like a little walking path. I don't know. See, can you kind of see it? So it might look like a little pebbled path that someone would walk on. All right. So God the shepherd keeps us on the right path. So now you can take some of your Rice Krispie cereal and put it into the mix. As I say, he leads me in the right paths for my namesake, for his namesake. Now you have some chocolate chips, white chocolate chips. So I'm going to hold up two of these. The darkest valley runs between these two chocolate chips. Even in the face of evil, David sings that we should have no fear because God is here. All right. So why don't you take your chocolate chips and add those to the mix. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, you, for you are with me. So take a pretzel stick out of the bowl right now, okay? David refers to the shepherd's rod and staff, tools used by a shepherd to keep the sheep together and out of danger. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And as this is all mixed together and we have poured, we poured the chocolate chips in there, God pours out his love for us by taking us like a shepherd takes care of his sheep. So now all of this is one big mix of stuff. And just as the cereal and pretzels all kind of stick together, God sticks with us through good times and bad times. So here are the rest of David's comforting words again from Psalm 23. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. So, you can enjoy your snack. So, as we finish up, we have good and bad moments, right? And good and bad days. And God promises to be with us through all of it. God sticks with us through good and bad times. So, I am going to close us in prayer. And so... Take a second to stop eating your snack. I'll close you in prayer and then you can finish it. So shepherd God, thank you for sticking with us through good and bad times. Guide and teach us. Help us to feel your presence as we travel through life. You are a good shepherd God. Amen. Thank you. Thank you everybody for being with me this morning. Um, I hope you have a fantastic week, and I'll see you next week. Bye.